Hey guys, this video is going to show you how to get free gold and precious metals from a computer. So, you're going to need a couple items to uh, do this task. First of all, you're going to need a computer or a laptop. Then you're going to need a drill, just a basic drill or screwdriver, a wire cutters, and some type of a uh, box like that to uh, organize the different components. So, after you have that all rounded up, you got the computer here. Most of these shells are held on by screws, so you're going to want to pop out the screws, which I already did. And after you pop out the screws, that'll expose the uh, inside guts of the computer like this. Then, the next step, there, I'm more light there. You're going to want to take out the other screws inside the computer. If you look around, you'll be able to find them all. Down on the motherboard, there's screws in the corners and things. And... You're going to want to take the screws out of here, like I said, to uh, to let you pop out these wires like this. And then, once you have the wires out, you can take out the CD drive, um, the hard drive, and the different drives that are in the computer. Here's one that I already took the screws out. And, yeah, when you take the screws out, the different drives, there's the hard drive, um, I don't know what they're all called, SD drive probably, and that one, there. Then they just pull right out like that. And I already took out the wires and things. Then you got the motherboard, which has about, I don't know, eight screws on average. Then that slides right out. Then on the motherboard, you got the RAM cards right here. That's where they're stuck. Then you want to pop them out. There's some other logic boards that are in these, which I already did. Then you got the heat sink here, which is aluminum. You can toss that in your aluminum pile. And then under the heat sink there, in every computer there's a CPU, which is the central processing unit. It's the brains of the computer. You're going to want to keep that because those are worth a good amount of money if you have a lot of them. So, next step would be to organize the drives and such. You're going to want to take your hard drives. You're going to want to organize them. Keep everything in order. You want to take out the screws on the hard drive. Take out the logic board. And then, right there. when you have the logic boards, they're all pretty similar. They're all made of different precious metals. A lot of them have gold pins on, gold fingers. And then you got different CPUs, like that. You're going to want to keep them separate. And you got the memory sticks. These are your RAM, random access memory. You're going to want to keep these separate. You can actually cut off the gold fingers, or you can keep them on, up to you, personal preference. And to get those logic boards, like I have there, you're going to want to take apart these drives, which is going to take a little bit, because a lot of them have little screws there. And, yeah, so just pop these apart, keep the different drives here, drives, I mean lo logic boards, sorry, and here's some gold fingers, I've had a lot more, I just sold mine off not too long ago, so I'm trying to build up my pile again, so there you have it. So after you have your different boards and CPUs and the RAM and you have everything taken out of the computers and separated, you now have the choice to cut off the gold fingers and sell them as the gold fingers or you can personally extract the gold from the gold fingers. It is a some, somewhat of a chemical process. 
I would not recommend it. I, um, I've never tried it. I might try it this summer and make, make a video on it, see how it works out. So stay tuned for that. Or you can gather them all up and then you have a big supply of them. Then you can sell them off to a precious metals uh, refinery. And uh, a good one that I would recommend that specializes in computers would be uh, boardsort.com. There's somebody that looks pretty rep reputable. Another one that I would definitely never do business with again is, uh, it's in my last video. It, uh, what is it called? America's E-Scrap. E-Scrap USA or something like that. But uh, they are definitely not somebody you want to do business with. Anyways, if you guys have any comments on the video, make sure you don't hesitate to leave them below. Make sure you subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm showing you how to get free gold and make some extra money. Alright guys, take care.